Good morning, today I'm going to show you how you can avoid making the biggest mistake that I see many beginners using when they start using WordPress block themes. And the big mistake is putting content into your page templates themselves into the site editor. Now certain themes start you with some starter content that they put in the site editor, but they only do this to make it easier for you to see something when you start viewing the site. Spectral one is an example of this. Also the Oli theme do it, and they do it for good reason, because when you first install the site, you see something and it looks kind of cool. But if you keep your content in there, it means you can't edit it very easily. It'll confuse you because some of your content will be in pages and some of your content will actually be in the site editor. Ideally, we want no content in the site editor. We want all our content in pages and posts. There's also another really massive issue, which is if you're not an admin, you can't actually access the site editor in the first place. You can't actually get to the content that you want to edit. So let's go under the hood and see how this has actually been built. I'm also gonna tell you how I personally recommend you deal with this situation to fix things. So here we go. And you'll see currently this is the home page of my website because this is currently using the home page template. Now the home page template, which is this one here, actually serves two purposes. It's either the home page of your website if you haven't set a home page in reading settings, or if you have set a blog page in your reading settings, which I'll show you in a second, this will actually be your blog page. So if I go and set a blog page now, a post page in reading settings, this page here will actually be my blog. And before you start shouting at me that block themes are rubbish, this is actually a WordPress issue and block themes just inherit the template hierarchy that we use in classic themes. And this is block themes way of kind of working with it. Let me quickly show you what I mean by this and show you the issue. So if I go to settings and reading and I come to here and then instead of showing the latest posts, I'm gonna choose my home page. I've actually created a blank page called home. In here, I've also created a page called blog. And if I set that blog page now as my post page, you'll see when I come to it, it's actually showing that home page template. So this is how I would fix this situation. I'll jump back into the site editor because I think probably 95% of the sites I'm building these days probably have a static home page and also a blog page. I come to the templates, come to home here, and you'll see this is currently is now showing my home page content, but actually that's my blog page. So I'd come here to the list view and I'll just remove all these blocks here very simply like that. And I'm gonna replace them essentially by using a query loop pattern. So in here, you'll see we've got different options and I'm gonna choose the layout I want, just add that option there. And you'll see now that is just using the query loop block. Now I can customize this page any way I like, but this is now gonna be my blog page. So if I click save, let's go and check that out. Go back to the website, click on blog. And there we go, there's my blog page looking much, much like a blog page should be. Let's go and have a look at the site editor. And now we've got this nice clear separation. And the other thing I've done here, you'll see this current page here. This is now my home page. But again, the mistake would be to put your content into this page because this page is actually now a static page which I've created. So don't put your content within this page. You'll see when I go on the list view here, this is actually just made up of a post title and also post content which is those theme blocks, which are bringing in content from that home page. Now you might also be sitting there thinking, well, that's great, but now my home page kind of looks like every other page, which is got this page title up here, the same as my other pages, but actually on my home page, I want a completely different layout. I don't want this home page title and I might want a nice full width cover image here. Now again, the mistake would be to put that right within the site editor. It'd be very tempting for you to do that because you're gonna go edit site and you'll actually see your home page coming in here and you'll click in here and you'll start adding content. Don't add content. Don't add content into the site editor. And the other thing to avoid at this point at all costs is to jump in here and start editing this page template because this is the page template for all your pages. So if you edit this here, even though you think you might be editing the front page, you're actually editing all the page templates on your site. So if I deleted the page title here, I wouldn't have a page title on all of my websites. So this is the next step. So what you do is you go back to the site editor and then you're gonna ignore this first screen, don't edit this content, come to templates and you'll see this little plus sign up here. That lets us create a brand new template. And luckily for us, there's a brand new template option here that says front page. So this, whatever we put in here is gonna be the front page of our site, but we're not going to put any content in here. So it's actually gonna load our latest posts, but we're gonna delete all of those to start with. And then literally all I'm gonna do in its place, I'm gonna add a group block 
don't put content in a group block. And within that group block, I'm just going to put the post content block. And all that's saying is right on the home page for the front page of my website, whatever page is set in reading settings, this is the design of that page. Now, I'm not taking much time over this, but essentially this post content block will just grab any content from that front page that's been set in reading settings and style it like so. Can you see it's up like that? And now I have this perfect separation of design from content, which is what we want. That's the whole point about WordPress. And you'll see I can edit this page as just a normal page. So if I can jump in here and I can recreate this page however I like, so choose that option there. And we can update that, go and view the site. And now we have a lovely looking home page. Of course, we can edit everything about it and we can go onto blog and that's now being populated by our posts. But none of the content is actually in the site editor. If we go back to edit site, even though it might look like it's in the site editor, if we click on the list view, we can see it's actually just bringing in content dynamically. So a quick recap, feel free to pause at this point and take a screenshot. Don't ever put content as in page or post content in the site editor. Number two, first step, create two new pages, your home page and your blog or post page and set in reading settings as you normally would when you're building a WordPress website. Step three, edit your home page template in the site editor to create your blog page. Because remember you set that as your blog page in reading settings so that the home page template will now be your blog page so you need to change it. Number four, go to your templates and create a new page template, a new front page template and design your front page. But again, don't put content in that front page template as a template. You just want to bring in the theme blocks that will dynamically bring in your content from the actual page itself. So this might feel really a bit confusing, but once you kind of get your head around the way this is working, it does kind of make sense. I know that certain people are trying to make this easier to understand. I was speaking to Mike from Ollie yesterday, the Ollie theme, and he's definitely looking at this and thinking of inventive ways to solve it. So I hope that cleared a few questions up for you. If you do have any other questions, please do leave them in the comments below. Anything at all to do with block themes, I'd love to hear from you. I hope you found this one useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below right now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge difference to how YouTube shares the video around YouTube and it makes a huge difference to how many views it gets. So thank you if you can hit that like button right now. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.